everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to a new slime review video. Today I'll be giving a 100% honest store bought slime review. I purchased these slimes from Five Below and Ross and this one is a little different since it's going to be an all pink store bought slime with some Barbie slimes included. If you enjoy my slime reviews and ASMR, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and check out my other social media channels. Now let's get started with our first pink store-bought slime. This one is called Donut Glazed Slime. This is from the brand The Concoction Factory and I purchased this from Five Below for only $3.50. You get four and a half ounces of this pink pearlescent putty slime. It also comes with a baggie of rainbow sprinkles and three donut charms. There's a hot pink one, a light pink, and a dark brown. The container does say the slime is scented and it does have a very light sweet strawberry scent. So I assume this is like a strawberry glazed donut type of slime. Texture wise, it's not that great. It's just a putty that has zero stretch and it's very, very rippy, but it is fun to squish. The pearlescent shimmer is very pretty though, and I do like squishing this slime, but that's all it's really great for. There is some sprinkle fallout when you're trying to stretch it since it rips very easily, but it is very holdable. But I still think for the really cheap price, it is a decent purchase for a beautiful putty slime that comes with some add-ins. So honestly, I do recommend it if you're looking for something simple to squish. Alternatively, you can also add in some slime softener. I use some vegetable glycerin. I've linked some down below. And this one helps soften the slime to make it stretchier. And after I fully kneaded in the glycerin, the slime did become softer, a lot easier to stretch, and even made some nice bubble pops. On another note, let me know what color slime review video you guys like to see next. This one is pink, so do you want to see an all blue or all red? Let me know in the comments. Our next pink slime is called Pink Lemonade from the brand Crazy Slimy or Crazy Art. This one is also from Five Below that I purchased for $5. This one is a vibrant pink colored clear slime that comes with some jelly cubes and orange female slices. The label does say it has a fun scent and it has a really nice sweet lemonade scent. Smells like lemon sugar to me and doesn't remind me of anything like a cleaner. There are a couple of jelly cubes in here which are fun to squish. I actually really like this slime and I do recommend it except I don't really like how hard it is to get out of the container. This clear slime texture really surprised me. It is super stretchy and kind of acts like a handmade clear slime. It is semi-holdable and is really great for table play. The ASMR is amazing since it's really great for bubble pops. The slime is slightly sticky as in little bits and pieces will get stuck on your hands, which is pretty normal with any handmade clear slime. It is a great texture and I would think that if you have really warm hands, this one might be a little sticky for you. In my honest opinion, I definitely recommend this slime. It is super cute, the scent smells amazing, and the texture is really great as well. Keep in mind though that store-bought slimes do tend to be inconsistent, so your batch might be a little different. Mine is actually pretty great. Now onto our next store-bought slime. This one isn't fully pink, but is kind of pink and is also from Five Below for $5. This one is called Berries and Cream from the brand Slimy Gloop. This one comes in three colors. There's a light pink, a hot pink, and a purple. It also comes with a variety of matching sprinkles and is scented very strongly like sweet berries. And I think the scent smells really nice. It's actually one of my favorites. 
I really like how none of the colors mixed and it's probably because the texture is pretty stiff. It's not very stretchy. This slime does have a weird slippery wet residue which is pretty common with slimy glue textures, especially their white glue based ones. I'm not too sure if they're white glue based or if they have clay in it. Either way, this one does feel really different from their clear based ones which I do prefer. This texture is holdable and squishy, so I do recommend it if you're looking for a squishy type of slime that has a very strong berry scent. But honestly, for $5, you can get other slimes that fly below sells like the crazy slimy one or any of the clear based slimy gloops. Definitely recommend having some sort of slime softener on hand if you do like purchasing store-bought slimes. This one is vegetable glycerin, which I did add into the slime, which did make it softer and easier to stretch, which allowed it to have better bubble pops. Personally, it's not a type of slime that I enjoy playing with. Next up is another slime from Five Below that was only $1.50. This one is a mini slime from Compound Kings called Clears. I found this one in the front kind of near the mini things and not in the slime section. I thought it was candy at first, but it wasn't. It's actually slime. You get this cool little plastic jewel type of container and inside you get a tiny amount of this pink stretchy clear slime and a baggie of rainbow foam beads. The pink clear slime was a tiny bit sticky since it would sometimes stick to my hands, but I totally don't mind since we're going to be adding some foam beads to it. You get a lot more foam beads than you need, so I recommend using it for another project or another slime. I did try to add in all the foam beads, but the slime is honestly too small for it and it's not sticky enough. There was a lot of fallout, but the texture is pretty decent. It is pretty stretchy, there is some nice crunches and some mini bubble pops and honestly I do recommend it if you're on a budget. It is very cheap but it is also very small. The packaging does say it's scented like cotton candy and the scent is very sweet and does remind me of cotton candy but it doesn't smell too realistic to me and just smells very sweet. The slime is a little messy with all of its bead fallout and I honestly don't see it lasting very long. It's very cheap and the container is super cute and reusable. You can put in any little mini things that you have. Next up, we have a slime from Ross. This one is called Barbie BFF Surprise and comes with a variety of textures and add-ins. This is my first time seeing a Barbie branded slime and I actually found two of them at Ross. So the second one is after this one. This is how the slimes came packaged. There were four slimes and three add-ins and also a mystery Barbie charm. I love how they're all pink and in Barbie themed shapes. And this is what the mystery charm looked like. I just got a tiny little heart slime glasses one. They also had four other options. Anyways, back to the slime. We're going to be starting off with the biggest one, which is the pink and white Barbie butter that comes in a Barbie head shape. It is swirled white and pink and has a strong, sweet raspberry cream scent. None of the slime scents were labeled and this is just what I think they're scented. You get a bit of sizzle when you first poke it and I decided to add the Barbie confetti to it. The texture of this butter slime is actually not a slime. It feels like pure clay. It is soft and creamy, very moldable, and very fun to play with. It was pretty hard getting all the clay out of the container. And at the end, you get a soft, spreadable texture.
This next Barbie slime comes in a roller skate shaped container and it's called Red Glitzy Tinsel. This slime has a pretty strong strawberry scent that smells like fresh strawberries or strawberry jam. Probably my favorite scent in this Barbie slime package and the texture is actually not bad as well. It's pretty stretchy, great for bubble pops, but the little tinsel pieces do fall out a little bit and get stuck on your hands. I also want to point out that the containers that the slime come in aren't really reusable, so you have to use your own. The next Barbie slime is this pink glitzy dots one that comes in this heart glasses container. These textures come out pretty easily and don't get stuck in the container. And for this one, I added some of these pink glitters. I believe this one also has a strawberry scent, but it's much sweeter and reminds me of a sweet strawberry syrup with a lot of sugar in it. Texture-wise, it does feel pretty similar to the tinsel one. It's stretchy and squishy and also makes some nice bubble pops. The last Barbie slime that we have from the BFF surprise box is this clear heart glitzy one. This one is a clear slime with hot pink glitters in it. I believe this one is a sweet vanilla scented one and it really reminds me of a vanilla ice cream. It's super creamy and sweet as well. The texture is pretty much the same as the others. It is squishy, stretchy, and great for bubble pops. I also added some more pink glitters to this one. I did decide to add all the clear slimes together and add in the pink clay. Although the textures were pretty stretchy, adding in the clay didn't make it stretchier. It did slightly stiffen it up and it just became a squishy texture. There's a ton of glitter throughout it and it is a little hard to stretch, but at the end you get a sweet berry scented slime. Honestly, I only recommend this if you're a fan of Barbie and if you love slime. Our last slime is also from Ross that I paid $10 for. This one is a Barbie Dreamtopia butter cupcake bucket. Comes with four cans of color changing butter, two bags of glitter, three bags of mini styrofoam balls, a plastic Barbie themed dough knife, a sticker sheet, and of course the storage container that it comes with. All the add-ins and butters are different textures, so you get a pink and blue foam bead, a pink and silver glitter, of course the stickers, some rainbow foam beads. As for the butters, there's pink, purple, a green, and a bluish green. We'll be starting off with the first color changing butter. This one is the purple one that changes to pink when it is being touched with some heat. The texture of this butter slime is pretty much the same as all the other Compound King butters. They are pure clay, so super creamy and soft and great to add with slime. It was a little hard getting the slime out, so I tried to use a knife, but it didn't really help. Overall, the texture is not bad. Great to add into slime. This one is soft and squishy, and with some heat, this one turns into a pink color. My hands are pretty cold, but my wrist is warmer, so I used that to test it out. All of these butter slimes are scented with different scents, and I believe this one is a berry one, and it is pretty strong. Next up, we have the bluish colored one, which is scented pretty strongly like blue raspberry. And under heat, this one turns into a light teal. It is pretty much the same texture as the other one, so it's a super creamy, buttery clay.
Next, we have the pink one, which I believe is strawberry scented, which is my favorite of these butters. And with some heat, this one changes color into a lighter pink or a white. And again, it's the same squishy, soft, and creamy texture that is just clay. And lastly of the butters, we have this dusty teal colored one that is a bluish green. And this one is scented like hot chocolate. It smells super delicious. And I'm not too sure if this one is color changing. I did put it against my wrist and it didn't change color. Also put it against my lights, which are much hotter and there was no color changing. And again, it's the same creamy and spreadable butter clay texture. decided to temporarily store on this lid since it was separated and here are what the stickers look like. They are Barbie Dreamtopia theme and I decided to put them on the lid. Afterwards, I decided to decorate it with all the add-ins. So the pink glitter, the blue foam beads, the pink foam beads, and then the silver glitter. I decided to save some of the foam beads for another slime or project. Of course, I decided to mix them all up to see what color and scent they turn into. In my opinion, the little plastic knife is super cute, but it's not really useful with mixing and spreading the slimes since it's not that durable. It turns into a dusty purple color and the scent is like a sweet berry cupcake and I decided to add slime into it. Since this clay is perfect for that, it makes it super creamy and inflatable. And here's what the final texture looks like. It is extremely creamy and stretchy. I love squishing this one. This one inflates a ton. It becomes so fluffy and sizzly. And honestly, this clay makes one of my favorite clay slime textures. Anyways, that is all for this store-bought slime review. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!